Listen up, Rangers. Welcome to the Geek Chest. My name's Steve. My name's Arnaz. And today we got some new Godzillas. We're reactants. Then there was figure already announced. It was like we had the trailer and we're like, all right, sweet. Well, Arnaz and I will be able to get together. Hopefully it was yesterday, but it ended up being today. And it was like, Sounds oh, we reacted to the trailer. And I'm kind of glad that we waited because now we actually got like a good look at what Godzilla looks like. I'll be honest, in 30 seconds, there isn't that much to talk about. <laughs> a girl gets stepped on by the looks of it. That's about it. People are running away. You see... One thing I do like... You know, before, before you start continuing that... Actually, I didn't know, probably should watch the trailer again. Before you uh, send me that... Uh, before I knew what that was, you sent me that trailer. I was 100% sure that's a Gamera trailer. Because start showing little kids. I'm like, uh, there's a new Gamera movie? <laughs> what is this nonsense? <laughs> I was like, damn it, Steve Gamera and kids, and then it was Godzilla, and I was like, what? Joke's on you, he's here to save the children this time. <laughs> All right, I am my phone. All right, let's watch this. A clock tower? We gotta go over this so then Arnaz can sync up the video. So now it's people with the rubble. From zero to minus. Destruction, Train. trains. Foot. Nothing more iconic than Godzilla's hatred towards trains. He does actually bite the train, right? Yeah. Well, because um, from what I gather, it sounds like it's going to kind of be like a retelling of the 54. So, of course, he's got to bite a train. He bite a train in the 54. He's got a um, yum, yum, yums. That was the whole iconic figure that they had, you know, of him holding the yeah, train. Yeah, there's like so many train biters, and I only yeah. own one of them. It's probably the ugliest train biter figure ever made. That's what makes it great, okay? <laughs> My bear model one, but yeah. I like him. That's what makes it great. My uh, only one. <laughs> uh, what but, do you think of the trailer? Um, oh, there's not much to really go on. No. It's got me hyped because new Japanese Godzilla, I'm down for this. Problem is... I don't know if I want another just Godzilla smashing the city thing, but I don't, like, in my brain, I'm like, oh, gosh, just another Godzilla solo film, whoop de freaking do But then again, what am I really... It's either him going to be stomping cities or him fighting monsters. It's not like it'd be like Godzilla doing Sherlock Holmes, like, mystery investigations. Like, mm. there's a formula to a Godzilla movie. I mean, a lot of people are going to take offense to this, but I kind of feel like they failed with Shin Godzilla. Because that movie Say was... what? Because that movie was just... <laughs> they don't need to hear you talking or not, so I was trying to do you a favor. Because that movie is just like... Two minute action, 20 minutes talking, five minute action, 30 minute, you know, talking. So I'm hoping... So a Godzilla movie? So I'm hoping <laughs> that this is a little bit better by, by the looks of it. I mean, they could have just shown us all the action scenes in that 30-second clip. I probably would have been more hyped if I was saw more action scenes. It's one of those, like, I'm almost kind of spoiled with, like, stateside trailers now. Where you get, like, almost the entirety of the movie in your two-minute trailer. And even the 30 seconds. <laughs> so I'm like, just some people standing around and a foot stomping on things. I don't know, I kind of need something to kind of... Get the chub going a little bit more, you know? Oh, so you need them going into the bunker and the door's closing and you see Mudo flying in and... Hells yeah! That was never actually in a movie. <laughs> the was smokes a... in the sky. That was the best thing about the original 2014 trailer. Still one of my favorite trailers of all time. Because there's like, outside of them jumping out of the plane, nothing else I think is in the movie. <laughs> But it still got me so high because you're like, what were those legs of the thing that looked like it was dead? And yeah. Godzilla's, it's daytime. Yeah, it There's was never great. A daytime Godzilla. Well, sorry, the end has a daytime Godzilla shot. It's but. like all deleted scenes. That's what they need to do. They just need to put deleted scenes as the trailer. So this way you get absolutely nothing what you're hoping for. Yeah, but to kind of just like bring up my point from earlier, it was like, I was a little disappointed that, I don't know, just from what it sounds like, it's just going to be like a Godzilla solo film, sort of like Shin. I hope not. Which, to be fair, we haven't really gotten that many in recent years, which is odd to say, because we've gotten so much Godzilla content in recent years. Yeah, King of like Monsters. Like the, the animations. Godzilla vs. Kong. Like Shin Godzilla's really the only one. I guess you could say like the first anime Godzilla from the Godzilla Earth ones. Ew. It's technically a solo film, even though it has some other monsters in it, but it's just more focused on him. Um, so, 
in hindsight, it doesn't really bug me. But I just remember first seeing it, and I was just like, oh, God. <laughs> you know, like, I hope there's another monster. I've heard there could be another monster, but I don't know how true that is. It pretty much, like, once we see more trailers, it'll probably show up eventually. I, I hate but... saying this, but can we get Angris? <laughs> Please? And, like, the original suit where it's on his knees are bent backwards. The spine's <laughs> flopping out, or the yeah. shell's flopping off because it's not properly attached. Ah, oh, good times. Well, didn't you see, like, the Deadpool 3? They're, like, bringing back, like, all of the old characters and the original characters. Well, it's, like, him in the actual, like, yellow and blue. Yeah, so it's, like, Wolverine in yellow and blue, but it's not that. It's, like, they're bringing the original, like, uh, Gambit from that shitty movie, you know, of, uh, and... Oh, it was the one that, because they're... Uh, was it and, Shannon Tatum? Yeah. They're bringing him back. They're bringing, uh, Storm back, like, the original character. So, can they do this... Same thing for the Godzilla. Can we get to like the original shitty Angerus and <laughs> stuff like that? Can we do that? Yeah, like I said, because this is more of a retelling of 54. I'm, I'm more inclined to believe it's just going to be a solo film. But it would be cool if there was another monster. And again, we'll have to wait for like an official trailer to really know Question what's fully going on. Because like, like I said, other than we know that it's set up in like 40s, 50s. Question it's really is, about it. Question is, he looks like a beast in that movie, and it is set by the looks of in forties and fifties. How are they going to beat him? With the power of friendship, they're, <laughs> they're going to have to have some kind of power to beat that thing. Okay, so if it takes, in, is there nukes at that time yet? Well, yeah, because it's after World War Two, so they've already had experienced two nukes. And then he shows up. It's kind of the, the premise. So they're still trying to recover from Hiroshima. Ah, so and then Godzilla's a... like, ta-da! <laughs> so there should be some kind of... Okay, gotcha. So there is some chance of them beating him in some way. Yeah, because even... Because um, thankfully, with the trailer... Because, I, like I said, there isn't really that much to really talk about for what you see there. Other than you get like some Godzilla face. They now announced all the action figures. So there's the monster arts, which gives us probably the best look at what he's going to look like. And then there's also the movie monster series that we're showing off too, because there's two different versions of him, which I'm excited for all of it. But the monster arts gave us like the best look at the way his face is, how stupidly huge the spines are. Because for the most part, it's kind of the Godzilla ride, or Godzilla from the ride. Yeah. But just kind of updated, primarily with the giant S spikes. And same with the detail. Because even, like, the way his tail is, it's not very... Like, usually you get, like, small spikes, big spikes, back to small spikes. But the way his tail is, like, it almost starts, like, getting big again. Yeah, like, it, it starts does. doing that, like, shin thing. Which I think... It's, like, familiar, but still really cool looking. Told you. Big energy. Yeah, because he kind of looks like the 90s Godzilla had sex with the legendary... And then they just went, like, triple down. On Ta-da! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, no, he looks cool. They even see, like, from the trailer and even some of, like, the promotional stuff for the, the Godzilla. It almost looks like his face is kind of damaged. Like, mm. I don't know about scars, but you can see, like, discolorations on his face. Which could maybe be, like, where they've tried to attack him. Yeah. And that's but... where, like, he's got damage. Because you don't really see it quite. At least I don't think you see it in the figure. But in the movie, you could definitely see some, like, discoloration of what kind of looks like it could be, like, some kind of scars. No, I don't think there's anything on the figure. I will say the figure does have the coloring there. Because you can even see how, like, on the movie Monster Series, it's got, like, that little tan on his face. Yeah. That you see in the trailer. So, I'm not 100% what that's all about. But no, he looks super cool. Like honestly, like the if the, the figure arts is any good, or the, the figure arts, the monster arts is any good, it could be one of my favorites. We'll just have to wait and see. I don't know about design. I'll have to see it in the movie, but like like I said, like it's probably the it's more '90s looking than the '90s Godzilla. <laughs> <laughs> Like, okay. it's just spikes okay. for okay. days. Like, I thought 2000 was was very 90s looking. Nah, this, I think this one kind of takes the cake for me. 
Only thing I'm saying, he better come with a beam effect and just better be like a little fire He looks like he came out of a Spawn comic. Just better be a little fire extinguisher thing. Just I don't know, yeah, right? It's not even like a beam, it's just... Yes. That'd be funny. It like was like Zilla's, a toxic smoke. Like Zilla's just hot breath. It's just really hot water vapors. And it just melts people as soon as it Because that's what it originally was. It wasn't like an explosion. It just no. kind of melted things. Yeah. <laughs> just, people were dead. hot. Yeah, that'd be kind of cool to go back to. Although it looks great. It would make like... Him fighting other monsters wouldn't be quite as cool. No. But, he's but then again, we fought Angrus. It wasn't like the beam really did anything. But it would be kind of interesting because instead of it exploding, when he shoots the beam, you just see like the skin searing on the other monsters. Whoa. That'd be a bit more horrific looking. I'm down. I'm down to watch something like that. Yeah, because to my understanding, this is supposed to be sort of like a start for their own little cinematic universe. And not just being another solo film, kind of like Shin. Oh god, can we get Gabra in the world? Uh... We had Gabra. And it's like Gabra back home is that singular point, dude. No, no, an actual new Gabra. New Crab. Sandra or whatever his name was. New crab. Ebra. Yeah. Ebra would be dope. We need a new chicken. These are all great opportunities here, I'm telling you. Oh, you mean the condo? Yeah, the condo. I was like, what the hell is our Godzilla chicken? <laughs> yeah. A great Oh, condor. yeah. The oh, flies yeah. in. We don't need the condor. Yeah, yeah, we do. We don't need the guy. The guys this from the would con- be the, the, gr- the What should have been a con movie. The greatest Godzilla lineup. Abra, Condor, Gabra. <laughs> and the roach aliens. All the, great. To be fair, though, it doesn't have good door. <laughs> so I guess I'd be alright. At least it's something new. <laughs> Isn't like the second movie in, we already have like his biggest nemesis already yeah. showing up. Uh, so I guess I could be down for that. Someone destroy it back in something. Like, destroy a Biolante. Give me one of them. Biolante, Space Godzilla. There's so many opportunities, I'm telling you. Like, Biolante, I think, still would work really well in the Legendary Universe. We just need a perverted... Destroy a... Perverted space we Godzilla have, stealing we kids. We have to stop there. <gasps> That's it. That's why it shows a lot of kids, because there's Space Godzilla, and he steals the kids, and the Godzilla goes out to rescue them. I don't know. The one I keep hearing is... It could be... It's kind of like a whale monster. Kind of like what Godzilla was supposed to look like originally. Yeah, it's a new concept. I'll take it. Right? It just looks like the the whale from Street Sharks. <laughs> the <orca. laughs> It just got legs and pants and arms. Let's do this. Street Sharks. <laughs> I'd, be, I'd be totally down for that. Yeah, I'm okay with this. These are all great ideas. Yeah. So, needless to say, I'm hyped. Honestly, I'm kind of more hyped for this than I am the legendary one, though. To be fair. Which is odd, because they've given us, like, the same amount of time for the teaser, but it was like... I'm more excited for cool new Godzilla than I am for cool new King Kong. Louis <laughs> for the new one. So it's right, weird. It's gonna be a great Jungle Book story, okay? Just it's saying. Because I was like, oh god, he's just fighting another monkey. <laughs> like I think I'm, I'm, I was, uh, I'm more excited for the solo aspect than that. But we'll have to see. Because from what I've heard, at least from like the leak plot synapses. Sounds like it's going to be at least a fun ride for the new Legendary. Uh, I'm, just so wait, I'm, still... I'm just waiting for Frieza to show up. For Frieza? Yeah. Because he's fighting all the monkeys. Oh, yeah. That'd be <laughs> something. There's this new crossover. <clears throat> we finally know who's stronger between Goku and Godzilla. <laughs> But anyways, have you guys seen the trailer? Let us know in the comment section below what you guys thought of it. And help us defeat those kaijus by hitting the like button. Subscribe, become a ranger today. Also got Instagram, Patreon, pictures of Facebook. Guys, like you the other day, which you know, doing it. Greatly would appreciate it. We also are on threads. I gotta find the link still. Or somebody's gotta give it to me. <laughs> so I can put it in the videos. Um, oh yeah, you mean this thingy? Yeah, that I haven't even signed up for yet. I know I should, but I haven't signed up for it yet. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Because the link to Instagram, so I might as well. We got like 300 followers. Hells yeah. We need that's more. Cause that's because I post stuff like this. <laughs> what the hell is that? Well, I posted uh, this too, so it can't be that bad. Yeah, make sure to go check it out so you guys can actually see what Arnaz has got on his phone. <laughs> Anyways, 
Uh, also, if you guys like to pick up Godzilla figures for yourself, link in the description for Entertainment Earth. Another way to help support the channel, get yourself some cool collectibles, because I'm sure that Monster Arts will be on here sometime in the near future. Yeah. So you should buy from there. And then yeah. you get free shipping, which a lot of other stores don't give you. Yeah. And we get paid somewhat for it. Yeah. You win, we win. Free shipping, monies. Anyways, see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.